Hello and welcome back to Rollercoaster Tycoon, where we have this very layered theme park called a butterfly dam. And well, you know, if you were only looking at this side, you'd be thinking that it was just a dam, and then there's this, the whole theme park. Now, right now, we're actually doing pretty well. We got almost 600 guests, and we're like, well, you know, at the end of year one, we got three coasters, so. We're going to be pretty certain of quite a hefty amount of profits coming into uh, you know, our our wallet, <laughs> our pockets. And, well, you know, we got plenty of rights to build. So, all in all, we're doing quite okay. But that is only because I thoroughly planned this whole park, you know. Taking pretty, well, I'm pretty well prepared in terms of where I want to build the rights and the rest of the stuff. So, only because of that... Uh, are we doing um, as amazing as we are? And, well, you know, I kind of feel that even, well, despite our amazingness, I really feel that, you know, we kind of need to give it even a little bit more. And that means, you know, more track rides. I mean, these slam down rides, they're nice, but I kind of want to keep a few of them as, you know, at a reserve for <laughs> when we screw up a track design, like we did with the pressure panic, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. Now, as, well, you know, as it is September year one, I think it is time that we start evaluating the pricing uh, on our rides a bit. So, we will do that, and... Um, Let's just get the rides invisible, and yeah, look at this. This is the first one that needs its pricing adjustment. Made us one and a half grand, nothing spectacular if I'm honest. So we'll lower this to the regular <laughs> one buck a 25 rounds in the thing. <laughs> then there is the water wheel, <laughs> so this... Uh, I think that one grand for a water wheel <laughs> is... a quite a lot. If this were to be 500, I'd still think it was quite a lot. So, yeah. That one is, you know, gonna retire to normal pricing. For the rest, though, we kind of recently built all this stuff, so I'm not gonna change that just yet. But while we are, you know, looking in this view, v vandalism check... Well, it's not really all that needed, really. So, um, all in all, everything's looking hunky-dory, and, well, the one thing that isn't hunky-dory, <laughs> that is um, the facilities over here, so we might want to have to take a look at that. Well, <laughs> at least where we have space for it, over here, you know, well, um, I said we need facilities, and that's true, but... <laughs> Before we build this, I think we should build the ride that I got planned over here. And that ride is, well, you know, the back from, well, being deemed completely worthless, Log Fume. <laughs> I mean, it's just only as of late, you know, the last couple of parks that I've been getting, you know, this ride has really been climbing in, like, my personal ratings and stuff. I thought this was utter crap and useless, but... Slowly but surely, as of late, you know, it's gr climbing up there, and it's actually quite sad to value it. It's cheap, and it can be quite good. Now that, I, where I want to build this is like over here, you know. Uh, let's, let's get the supports out there. What I want to have, you know, I want to have a lift going right above this exit uh, of the coaster here. I don't know if that's possible, really. I mean, this is height 17, but I think we should be able to wiggle the track in between here if we stay at height 15. And then have it go around over here. And then do some funky stuff here. And then get back to the station. That is the plan for uh, the log fume. I don't know if we will be able to pull that off, but we're going to try and see. So, because of that, you know, because we got a very specific thing that I want to do, I need the station to be till this 14 here, have the curve, and have that go above the path. So, it needs to be at, like, height 13, or rather height 15, coming to think of it, because... 
Yeah, it needs to be at height 14. That's one above uh, the path. So it needs to be on uh, this line of trees. Right then, now that we know the specifics, uh, let's get cracking with building it, right? Custom design, as always. And, uh, wow, thanks game for completely ruining my view again. <laughs> Dang it. Now, well, I know where I need to build, more or less, and that is over here. Well, that should still make it quite easily hook up a ball to wherever we need it. So, we're also not going to have maximum station length on this one. I need this to be reasonably compact, so... Yeah, that's kind of, you know, making maximum station height more or less impossible. Alright, so let's see. If I were to do this, I might be a, am I able to go... Yeah, alright, so I need to have that be one lower, really. Then I can't go above the exit. Oh, no, you got to be kidding me. No! <laughs> Balls! Alright, if I do an S-Band, is that... Yeah, to the other side. Oh, that's also not going to work. Crap. Well, well that's uh, that plan gone. So if I move this whole thing back... And then go up... Yeah, that's not going to work. Balls, alright, so change of plan, really. What we need to do is build this on this height then. That's the only other solution that I have for this. I mean, I did have this plan B, though I was hoping that this would work, but it's not going to. Because the exit actually is three high. It's a bit of a bummer, but fine. <laughs> we'll have to make do. And of course, we will be able to. So... Let's see here. I need to go around the globe over here, you know, like right. nice motion globe. And yeah, we need to go up. I don't know though if we will be able to have support height. No, there's also a footpath issue. So can we go over here at the moment? We can. I don't know though. Too high for support. Alright. But we can go over there. Oh no. Alright, we'll do some terraforming. So that we <laughs> at least can get down here and out of here. Uh, wait, what? Space rings in the way? Can I has... Why can't I heighten that tile? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, it's a bit cheeky but fine. <laughs> I'm cool with this. <laughs> as long as I can have the right. Yeah. Well, of course I can have it. It's mine anyway, but you know what I mean. As long as we can actually build a somewhat decent track. And at least we got away from this Maya over here, you know that? Well, just a mass of tracks in general. Uh, so, oh, now I, don't, I want to hook it up over here. So what I don't, what I shouldn't be doing is just blocking off, you know, any access to these paths. I need to keep that in mind, but what we are going to be doing, we're going to lower it one, and then um, have an S-Band, I feel. Actually, what we could do is we could just have it go in the ground, right? Why not? Yeah, I mean, we can do everything. So, there. Like that. And then we'll have a curve. We should have enough space for that. Oh, I could actually, yeah, we're going to have the curve to the other side, of course. That does mean that we'll have to do terraforming. But, I mean, I'm not shy to do a fair share of terraforming. Just to get this ride up there, you know. I know we should keep an eye on our cache as well. And I will, but for now, it's looking good. That's not looking good, though. Do I have... No. Hmm. Balls, balls, balls. Is there no other alternative to this? I don't think so. <laughs> this is kind of bad. Alright, so plan B is to go below the station again. Alright, fine. So we'll have to do some more terraforming then. <laughs> and we'll have another underground section in there. Oh, and I can't even remove that tree. That's alright though. That's a bit of a shame though. I thought we would be able to get away with that since we can't um, yeah you know what 
this is going to be a bit, well, madness, but we're going to go up like this. And have a curve. And right now we're going above the path. Which is alright with me. So far so good. I'm going one up. And right now I think we should start seeing this one back to the station. Where it belongs really. Um, yeah, so we need to drop down to height. Oh no, actually only one. Well, that's, that's good though because this makes it hook up. Perfect, nice, compact track. I think that this is. I think that this is the best that we could hope for, really. So, let's see him. Uh, crap! I can't really find the right view that I want. But we'll build the entrance over here, I guess. Yeah. Why not? Actually, not. No, we won't. We have to build it. Dang it! I mean. These rides, it's making it impossible for me to see whether or not I could get away with that. Uh... I don't think that this is gonna work really, but no, it's not. So we'll have to build that over there. So it's gonna be just like a straight line right down to the path, pretty much. But that's all right. That's cool. We'll put it to test riding, and in the meantime, I will look this up. It's a shame though, I would have loved to uh, just have you know, some a bit longer queue line really. It's not gonna happen though, I mean I'm happy with the way it is right now, it's also good. Look at this though, I mean it goes in the ground, it has a few drops, it goes around a few rides. I think it's actually a pretty good candidate to score quite decent ratings or anything. Even though, I mean it's tiny and compact. I, th I think it's actually I quite like it. I'm having good hopes for this ride being quite amazing. So in light of that, you know, with these well, <laughs> high, you know, raising the bar for this ride, getting some proper expectations, I'm gonna set this to five and a half bucks. For a log fume, that is uh, quite, well, you know, that's, those are quite high expectations that it needs to live up to. So five and a half. I'll have to see whether or not it makes that. I'm raising the bar here, you know, putting pressure on the rating agency. <laughs> uh, anyway, we are going to call this. How are we going to call this? It kind of looks like... Well, what, what does it look like? <laughs> like a square with innards. <laughs> um, yeah, what, we, what we're going to call this is... Um, uh, Thermocentrica. No, 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 no. We're gonna call this the uh, Nauticus Nauticus uh, Voltaire. Yeah, well, that sounds. I don't know. It it sounds good. It sounds good for a roller coaster theme park, which this happens to be with three roller coasters. So yeah, pretty good. Uh, all we need really is you know, some proper colors. Though saying that, seeing how it's all brown and all, yeah, all right, yeah, no, we need we need to change this. If I go with that, and then have a green inside, does that work? It does work for this, right? If we go with red supports. Those red supports don't look so bad. And all of a sudden, it makes it stand out quite a bit more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. The boats, though, kind of <laughs> kind of totally forgot about the boats. I think the brown color isn't so bad, so we're going to stick with that. Good. All right, well, um, we got ourselves the log fume, and it's nice and compact. Just the thing, you know, how I wanted it. However, this also just shows why it was a good thing that I didn't build any facilities over here just yet. <laughs> because right now it's not possible. The whole space is just filled up there. Oh no, oh no, oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> we can't even build anything over there. 
So we won't. I mean, in lack of space, we kind of need to move on. But that does mean, though, that we kind of do need facilities over there. Or well, facilities, facility, you know, <laughs> singular. Uh, what are we going to build there? The, probably the hot dog thing, because we don't have that one yet. And I do feel that this one over there, right exit in the way. Wait, hold on a second. Where did I just build that? I don't know where I did build it, but I'm pretty damn sure that I didn't want it there. Now what I kind of want is for the rights to be invisible for a moment. And I want this square, and yeah, there is where I want to hold up the video. Like that. Good. More facilities. Now then, what are we going to build next? We got five and a half grand, so we can build some nice things. I want stuff over here, but I think seeing how we filled up like this whole area, I think it wouldn't be such a bad idea to expand the infrastructure some more. And I also think that we should get... Should we get an extra one of those? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, alright, we'll get an extra loose mechanic, but I was really thinking about the guards, actually. <laughs> I mean, you know, the mechanic kind of popped in my mind. I was like, uh, should I do it? Should I, should I not? <laughs> but this is the stuff that we really need. Seeing how we're growing big now with like 650 guests... I think it's time that we get some more stuff, you know. We're kind of like a medium-sized park now. This though, yeah, so in terms of expansion, you know, seeing how we're also having a little bit more cash to spend on things, what I kind of want to do is um, have the path go, say like over here, terraform this, you know, have it be lowered, and I kind of want to have the path be dug in the side of the... Well, of the hill here oh, a bit. That way, what we could do is have a lot of tracked rides underground here. As well as have easy access to this lower leveled lake. So what is the path height there? It's 8. And this is height 6. This is water. Or this is a height 9. So it's a 3 height difference, really. And if I'm honest, I, th I still think that's a bit too high. So, uh, but I don't want to make this crazy expensive, though. Uh, well, I guess, worst comes to worst, what we could do is just have all the stations be, like, you know, on height 7 or something like that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll have to expand the infrastructure, like I said. And we'll stick with height 9 for now. And then we'll do some channel for them. So, like I said, we're going to... Kind of like dig it in in this well, area over here, you know? Dig it in the side of the hill. Uh, like a so, yes. Yes, like this. Going, going good, going good. Having good progress over here with this. I'm liking how it's going so far. I need to follow the, follow the hillside a bit. Quite liking this. So it's really like a bit carved in there. Not too much. I don't want to uh, do too much terraforming on it. I think that till like over here. This looks, to me, this is pretty good. I'm, I'm quite liking this. So we'll go with this. Of course, that does mean that we need to set it up. And uh, what we might as well create right now, just thinking about it, is uh, a bit of pathfinding issues for our mechanics that so what we might need actually is um, a connection our oh, balls it's gonna be so difficult I don't even think that's gonna be possible yeah because what might happen is that they might try to reach this path over here but they fail to realize that they need to walk all the way over here that might actually happen so to prevent that from happening, what we're going to do is we're going to assign our loose mechanics some big general areas. So this mechanic will have this whole freaking area. This side of the park. Then this loose mechanic will have this whole side of the park. You know, this whole area. Look, that will be your area. 
And then you, mechanic, you will have this area. This is just so that to prevent any pathfinding issues, which will cause like our rides to never be fixed or inspected, you know. So this is just to prevent that from happening, really. I hope it will work. It's kind of like a first thing. It's just a theory, and I thought, you know, why not try it? So this should cover our bases pretty much. I hope we also need uh, a handy dude here. Kind of important, you know, to keep the tarmac clean. Uh, you'll just have this new stretch here, like that. Good. Now this is also a lot of flat path real estate over here, you know, that we just made. Which is kind of good. Um, the one thing though, you know, there's like two options we have. We could start expanding on the lake and leave building underground till we have filled up the lake and built some on this side. Oh, that's <laughs> actually, <laughs> thinking about it, we might do that <laughs> because, oh, you know, we have a, quite a few rides that we could build on top of the lake, like uh, the ghost train and the car ride. Well, I, I thought <laughs> we had a monocycle, <laughs> which has duo tracks, but <laughs> that's another uh, story. And the go-karts. And this one. So that's like quite a couple of rides that we could all build on the lake. And you know what we're going to be doing? We're going to build all of those rides on the lakes right now. Now that should also give us enough cash to then build a freaking awesome wooden coaster. And we might actually build that one underground. Yeah, we got ourselves a plan. Let's start out with the car ride and see if we now finally will be able to actually make a good car ride design. Huh? So far we've been failing horribly at car rides, so let's see if we can do, can better ourselves now. I'm thinking as well that the car ride wouldn't be so badly suited over here. I'm thinking hooking it up to this area and then have the track be a bit over here-ish, you know. Not too much on this side, a bit like there, there, yeah. Alright, so, good, uh, let's see, we will, just be to make it a bit easier in terms of hooking it all up together, uh, we will build it over here, uh, it makes it a little bit easier, I guess, uh, just like that, yes, alright, alright, good, so far I'm liking it. Right then, so here we go, up to this corner. Let's do some exploratory work, right? Let's see. Alright, I need to go up some more. We have quite a... This is like the perfect terrain though for a car, right? You know, utilize hills and all that. It's really where the car right, should shine. <laughs> Yet somehow I always fail to capitalize on it. But maybe that says more about me really <laughs> than about the car ride. Right? Or maybe not. Maybe it says more about the car ride than about it says about me. Anyway, here we will have the track go like this, and then right now we already need to lower it, otherwise we're gonna run, yeah, into height issues. I was afraid that will happen. Now I still need this to be on this height there. That's only for you know the whole connection of the path. I need to have clearance for that. Good, so right now we are above the lake, where we are nice and low. Um, well, just gonna go just one high level higher, so we can coast a little bit above, you know, the, well, the shore, <laughs> the beach line, <laughs> if this lake has any, really, but... Good, look at that, perfect. Now we will go up here just a little bit, you know, and then we'll go over here. And right now we will be on our return way to the station. So it's nothing fancy at the moment, but I think that right now th this car ride, right, if this also has bad ratings, then seriously, I actually might consider this bugged. This is a pretty good track design, right? It's nothing, it has hills, it goes around, that's stuff and things, it has everything. <laughs> At least if you ask me, <laughs> but I might be biased <laughs> since I built it. Anyway, we will hook this up now. Well, you lot my, may check 
the uh, test run. Oh crap! I do need Q instead of tarmac. Right then, uh, I think if we just go up here, you know, from this point, then all should be nice, and we should like more or less hook straight up to. No. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, that's even better actually. Quite like that. All right. Then, am I lower this now? Let's get some better view on the whole matter as well. So, and then up, and then like that. It's not as economical as it should have been, but fine, we'll take it. You know, the, it's just one path of space anyway. So I don't think I should be too picky about that. Yeah, we'll get a no entry sign here. All right, and we'll set up the car ride. Yeah. Yeah, I'm having high hopes for this track. I mean, it has drops, and even though it's a car ride, drops are important to any track ride, really. Also, what do we have? Am I going to change it, really? That is going to delay the ratings only. So, well, you know what? We're going to leave it to sports cars. Even though maybe race cars would have been cool, but... You know, since it is a jungle area, sports cars are totally the way to go. <laughs> Not. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, what we... We all put this to five bucks. Hopefully it will be cool. Yeah. We are gonna call this... Uh, the lower tracks. No, how about we're gonna call this the Valley Surfer? No, <laughs> it's a car ride. We're gonna call this on the the road to the Endless Valley. Yeah, that's what we're gonna call it. A bit of a long name, but fine. You know, I'm cool with that. Those are coloring. Well. Red and yellow, well, we could spice that up a bit with uh, yellow and blue, for example. Looks almost like black anyway, but we'll change it up a bit. Uh, we could also have this be a bit more brownish. I think that the grey actually looked better, <laughs> if I'm honest. I mean, the brown, no. <laughs> what we can do, though, is have these supposed to be yellow, just like the ones from the path, you know, that's, uh, that's cool. In that case though, we are going to change this back to red, and then have this be yellow again. Maybe we'll have that be green. Yeah, yeah, that looks a lot better. Alright, so, well, there we have it, a car ride, we'll open it up. Not that there are any cars for the guests to ride on. Minor detail, uh, we'll get that soon though. Uh, good. There's still more gentle rides coming, quite like that. And uh, we'll just put our handy dude out here now. Not that the car ride really needs one, but fine. Now, the good thing about the fact that we have a lot more path over here is that right now we can also place a few more facilities. I think, for example, a toilet is a thing that we could definitely use over here, among other things. And I'm actually thinking like a swag stall, really, <laughs> or a head stall. <laughs> Not that there's much difference. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll get that. Put the toilet over there. Um, Heighten that one. Get the hat stall out there. Maybe also a drink stall. I don't know, but it just feels like the, you know, the last drink stall is quite miles away. So and You need to keep your guests well moisturized and all that. So put that there. That's the facilities covered. I think that it's time that we build the next track ride next time when we play more Roller Coaster Tycoon.